Yeah. <laughs> For all of those that are concerned, I haven't sent an email. I I really like this case law, and what if I didn't yeah, send an email? Yeah. Now, I'm going to want my sons today, and I'm going to want uh, to know about each and every one of these cases, Glass versus the Sloop Betsy, yeah, there must be some significance, and considering it's 445 pages, I'm not going to spend this morning reading the whole document, so. but there is this concept of lawlessness where you as a sheriff don't defend the rights of American citizens because you want me to motion the court, uh, the same court that has allowed for the explo uh, exploitation of my sons. Now, uh, you have to understand that when you have a spouse and they make up a story about you, and there's nothing factual about what was said, you had an obligation to protect my rights as an American citizen. But you haven't. I've told you that I'm going to sue you, and I am. Now, uh, you wouldn't take me off the docket in Jefferson County. You wouldn't remove your fraud of the dissolution of marriage. And then uh, you sat there every day and acted like you don't have to enforce the rights of American citizens. I actually think you do. I think that when you know of a crime, you are obligated to enforce the laws. And whatever excuses you've made up over the last three years about me being mentally ill, mm -hmm. The law doesn't support what you've been doing. Now, uh, there's a little educational resource packet that I thought was very interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, uh, the documented rights exhibit in the National Archives. Yeah. Explore the entire documented rights exhibit and download high-resolution copies of the primary sources. Yes. Now, I did go to the National Archives, yeah, and uh, this thought of the equal rights of the United States citizens, where you're going to have me admitted to a mental facility, yes, you're going to administer psychotropic medication against my will, mm -hmm. for a crime that I've documented, I didn't, uh, I wasn't actually in Brennan, yeah. Now, uh, these documented rights since the begin the signing of the Declaration of Independence, yes. It looks like they teach this in schools. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, entering the exhibit, yes. If you just push this right here, mm -hmm. archives.gov. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I guess it started out with uh, let my people go and then Broke at last, this land is your land. Mm -hmm. Quite a song was made up with that in it, yeah. A change is going to come and then we shall overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Separate but equal educational system, Brown versus the Board of Education. <laughs> what if it was Budnick versus the Board of Education in each and every school? Well, you're going to get used to hearing my name, mm -hmm. Budnick, B-U-D-N-E-K. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me the Board of Education in each and every state of the United States and the elected school superintendents yeah, that have any knowledge of the fraud right now of obligating students to attend school when they're two grade levels behind the actual student body? Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to be Budnick versus the Board of Education in each and every state of the United States. So why don't you get me the employees? of the state school superintendents in each and every state of the United States, yes, that has any fraud, any knowledge of fraud, pooch, that has misrepresented. Mm -hmm. Now, I said I wanted a phone call and I didn't get any. Po, po, po. This separate but equal where you can obligate students to go to school when they're two years uh, older than the other students, yes. I think that does kind of fit into this separate but equal, but it's not equal. Yes. I think each student should be in the grade that they have the age and academic ability to be in. Mm -hmm. And somehow I think my five sons are smart enough to be two grade levels. Uh, just give me every employee mm -hmm. of all of those school districts oh, that has any knowledge. Yes. 
of you as a court issuing court orders where you took the custody of my son's poop and then you refused to allow them. Get me the poop. Give me the state superintendents of every school district of the United States of America. It's going to be Budneck versus the school board. <laughs>